You're now ready to install the deck and stair railing assemblies that you completed in part one of this instruction video series. You'll need to determine a starting point for your deck railing installation. On decks without stair railings, we suggest you start your installation at either an end or at a corner location and work your way around the deck perimeter until the railing is complete. For rail applications with a stair railing like our instructional deck, we suggest that you begin by installing your top stair post first. This will ensure proper alignment where the deck railing and the stair railing meet. We'll now install our top stair post as our predetermined starting point. Once again, there's a top and a bottom stair post. The top stair post is the shorter of the two. Prior to installing your top stair post, check to confirm you'll be able to align both top and bottom stair posts or you can slightly adjust your selected start location as needed. Once you've measured and determined the placement of your first post, we recommend the drilling of pilot holes to ease the installation of your post bolts into the structurally sound blocking below the decking surface. Using the appropriate fastener for your application, secure the post to the deck surface and check the post for level once installed. With our railing starting point determined and our first post installed, we are now ready to begin our deck railing installation. We'll be using a method called prefabrication, involving measuring and cutting our rail to size and installing the required posts into the rail sections. This will allow us to install and fasten our prefabricated railing sections to the deck surface. Now we're going to start our installation by prefabricating our front section of deck railing. To determine the required cut length of our front piece of rail, we'll loosely position our corner post and measure the distance between the two posts as shown. With our rail length determined, mark and cut the rail to the required size using a cordless saw with carbide tipped blade. Please note you may wish to cut the rail so that the picket end spacing is equally divided at both ends of the rail for a balanced look when finished. With the rail cut to size, we're now going to install our saddle post and our corner post into our front railing section as part of our prefabrication process. To install our saddle post, first locate and mark the desired location where you wish to install it in the railing section. For this application, we're going to install our saddle post in the middle of the front rail section. In order to install our saddle post, we'll need to remove a picket from the rail section at the selected location. To remove the picket, cut the bottom rail one inch from each side of the picket you wish to remove. Wiggle the picket back and forth until you can remove the picket. You can now insert your saddle post into the rail section and attach the post to the top and bottom rails as shown. Next we'll install our corner post to the end of the rail section. To complete our prefabricated front section of rail, we'll now attach our top and bottom sleeves to the opposite end of our rail section. This will allow us to connect the rail section to our previously installed top stair post. We have now completed our prefabricated front rail section and are ready to move the rail into position and fasten it to the deck. Once in position, we'll start by fastening the top and bottom sleeves at the end of the rail to our top stair post. Next, fasten the post to the deck. Pilot drill lag holes and then install lag bolts for the deck surface into the structure below. We're now ready to prefabricate and install our next section of railing. We will mimic and repeat similar steps used in the installation of the front rail section, except on our side section of railings where we will join the rail to the corner post already in place and install an end post at the railing termination next to the building. Once the side rail section is prefabricated and positioned in place, fasten the posts to the deck, pilot drill lag holes, and then install lag bolts through the deck surface into the structure below as done previously. With our deck railing installed, you're now ready to install the adjustable stair rail. The patented star adjustable racking stair railing will work on any stair angle, making stair rail application easy. 
Loosely position the bottom stair post at the desired location in line with the installed top stair post. Measure center to center of the top and bottom stair posts to determine your required stair rail length. Note, you may wish to cut the rail so that the picket end spacing is equally divided at both ends of the rail for a balanced look once installed. Measure and cut your stair rail in similar fashion to the deck rail. We recommend you angle cut your rail on an approximately 35 degree angle as shown to give maximum penetration and strength when you install into the stair post knockouts. Insert the rackable stair rail into the punch outs in the top and bottom stair post and loosely set in position as shown. Next, bolt the bottom stair post to the bottom tread and check the post for level. Raise the stair rail so its top meets the top of the punch outs in the stair posts so any visible gap is at the bottom. Secure the top and bottom stair rails to the stair post using a screw through the side of the post as shown. Install the stair post caps using a small bead of silicone to secure the post cap into position. To prevent the bottom rail from sagging, we will install support legs attached to the bottom rail and the deck surface as shown. Perform a final inspection of your deck rail to ensure all posts are plumb and all screws and fasteners are secure. Clean up the rail with warm soap and water if required and enjoy your beautiful star aluminum railing for years to come. Star decorative base plate covers are available in all matching colors. The two-part split flange allows it to be added after the rails are installed. Install the two-part cover using rivets or screws to secure the cover to the post.